this video, I'm going to be showing you how to extract cell nodes into another column using some simple Google Apps script. Um, so first, we're going to be creating nodes in our Google Sheet, followed by extracting them into the adjacent column. And also, we'll be using some Google Apps script. So let's get started. Okay, this is the Google Sheet that we have here. This Google Sheet contains some data on the sales of products, followed by their quantity, total price, and the category under which it comes. So what are cell notes? Cell notes are simply text boxes added to the cell which just add some extra information. These can be viewed by hovering over the cell where it's added. So here you can see we have added a cell note saying the bar sales is not good. If you want we can add another one saying we can by selecting the cell where you want to add the cell note hit the right click scroll down and you can see insert comment and you have to click on the insert note button and here you can type so we'll say cookies are selling great and just close it and we have added the uh, cell note to the cell so now we're going to be using some google app script to to get these cell notes into the adjacent column here so to do that, we'll click on the tools and click on the script editor. And here the script editor is open. I'm just going to clear this out and create our first function. That is the get sheet notes. Let's close the brackets and hit the enter. Um, so first I'm going to get the spreadsheet. So I'm just going to create a variable called SS and then use the spreadsheet app and get the active get the active spreadsheet close the bracket hit a semicolon next i'm going to be getting the sheet so i'm going to create a variable called sheet and I'm going to use the ss variable and get the sheet by name you can also get the sheet by id or get the active sheet but i prefer to getting it by name i'm going to go here open the code space the name and close it here we have got the sheet next we're going to be getting the data range you can also get the range by specifying the value and then getting the values but using the get data range you can directly get the values do sheet dot get data range close it done now using the same range we're going to be getting the notes in the google sheet it's going to create a new variable called notes and uh, we're going to do the range we're going to get the we're going to use the get notes function that we have since we have more than two notes and you will be adding a few in the future just going to do use the get notes add a bracket and close it now we have created the sheet we got the sheet we have added some notes we got the data range and got the notes into the script now whenever we get the notes it is in the form of an array the array contains the index number that is the row where the cell note is added followed by the data in it so now we need to use two for loops and convert it and store it into in, in the form of an array So here we have created two for loops and we have stored the data in an array and now we're going to be using an if loop to check if the note is empty or it has data. So if the note is not empty and it contains the row number and data, it will run the following script. So we're going to create a final variable called note and here we're going to be storing the notes value that, have that we are going to be getting in the form of an array. and. So we have stored it next we are going to be getting the cell where we want to insert the note so we need it adjacent to this right next to this we need the cell notes to come right here and here so we're going to be creating a new variable called cell and we're going to be using the range we're going to get use the get cell and we're going to specify 
so now here I'm going to be writing i plus 1 comma g plus 1 we need to get it plus 1 we we want it in the same row but we want the different column we're going to shift it out to here and next it's time to set the value so we're going to be using the offset function where you have to specify the row and the column by which it's going to shift so we don't want to change the row in this part we just want to shift it to the next column that we have so we're going to be doing 0 comma 1 so it goes to the next one and uh, we're going to be using the set value function as there is only one cell note for each of the cells we're going to use the cell value and we're going to put the note the note variable that we used here i'm going to close the bracket and save it so uh, our code is done now let's just go ahead and save the project this is most important task we're going to name it as notes gaps and just click on rename and we are done let's just you select the correct function that is the get sheets note and just click on the run button and here you can see on successful execution the cell notes have come back into the adjacent cell here so this is all for this video i hope you understood how to extract cell notes into an into another column using google apps script if you like this video then please like share and for more content on google workspace and more hit the subscribe button see you in the next one